What's up? It is a beautiful early morning um, and I have to kind of be quick with this because I have work in a little bit. But basically, um, as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm going to be jumping over this guy today. I kind of just thought about like what would be cool for a photo where I could incorporate my BMX with my street bike. And I thought what better way than to make like a cool video, do some like action shots and stuff. I want to jump over the gas tank and not like the seat. That's kind of lame. This is like the tallest part of the bike. So be following me what the heck basically i have to build a ramp to to jump over it so i've got this um two foot wide by eight foot long piece of plywood and it's not really gonna flex this is probably gonna be more of like a bank which is fine um and then i got a handful of two by fours so yeah basically i think i'm just gonna make the uh ramp a little bit shorter than the gas tank so maybe have it come up to like here where like you won't be able to see the ramp in the back. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll make it work. I would like to take the ramp, load it up in a truck, and put my bike in there and have somebody drive that to a spot where we can get the photo. That way I can drive this guy up there. I'm gonna start building the ramp. I got a little less than two hours to do it. Um, shouldn't be a problem. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I make some progress. All right, so looking at this, probably make it three feet tall or just shy of three feet tall. And I think this wood will flex just a little bit. I'm not super confident in how much, but if I can get it to flex at all, I don't really care that much. But what I think I'll do is put in these um, four by fours at the very top of it. Try to get it to flex, put some two by fours in the center and then like like two by four posts going up in the center like that and then try to push it down as much as possible and then tack them together with a two by four on the side it's not going to look real pretty like i said we, we're only going to be using it for a little bit so it doesn't it doesn't really matter it's not going to be in the photo either so i'm just using the nail gun just to make this go by a little faster issue with storage so let me show you what i did while the phone was acting up same thing as this i cut these down at the same angle well slightly different angle the reason those are hanging off the ground is i'll show you because when those touch the ground this is the angle that i want this is the the radius that it's going to be i'm just going to put those two by fours in to support the legs from going outward and i'll tack a two by four from the front to the back and then when I lower this down, I'll be able to tack that in. Hopefully, it'll hold the center down. Um, I put some extra supports in the bottom, uh, those posts there, because it had a little flex. So there's absolutely no flex to this thing. Um, I'm glad that it has a little radius. I didn't really care, but a little bit of radius makes it so you don't necessarily have to bunny hop off the end. So I don't really care that those stick out at the bottom. Not a big deal to me. 
Um, I wanna use this for a lot more, so I might reinforce it in the future. I might just take a two by four from the center there on the inside all the way to that one. Other than that, it's, it's a pretty solid ramp. I mean, it's definitely gonna be heavy, but it should be no issues putting it in the back of a truck. I have to go to work now, unfortunately. We'll, we'll be jumping this thing later today. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a little bit. I made it to Story's because Story is too lazy to put his bike in his car. I'm just kidding, he's got, he's got the children today. So we got both bikes loaded up. We got the ramp loaded up. Um, obviously riding the bike because we gotta get there somehow. Brad's driving the truck. And yeah, so should be fun. The place we're going is literally right up the road from here. So it's pretty convenient. It's just an empty parking lot at a church with some nice black top. Should make for some good photos. So this is our empty parking lot. We've got the ramp set up over there next to the bike. And uh, I'm gonna warm up, loosen up a little bit. Jump it a couple times, see how it feels. All right, uh, we got some test jumps in. I'll just show you some more real quick. Um, I think Story's gonna try to jump it too. Just gonna do some light stuff off of it and then probably pull the camera out and move the motorcycle um, in place or the ramp to the motorcycle. Not sure yet. Gotta figure out where the sun's at. You hold it right here. <laughs> I think the sun is at a pretty good spot, so I'll probably get the camera set up, move one of these two things into place depending on where I want them, and then we'll just start getting some, some uh, photos over it. All right, unfortunately the lens that I have is way too much of a wide angle lens, so I'm gonna see if somebody can bring me my long lens. I 100% forgot it. I wasn't thinking about it. This is my favorite lens, but I didn't think about how close the person taking the photo was gonna have to stand with this lens, so. Uh, quick intermission. Hopefully the sun stays. If not, we'll just move the bike, uh, the bike's position. It is showtime. We're, we're out of sun, so we don't have, really have to worry about that. We got Brad over here on the camera. This is the shot set up. I'm gonna put you on this side a little bit, and I'm gonna take a couple uh, test runs before I trick it. We're gonna just get the make sure the photo is good. What sucks is we'll have to do like every trick straight up and sideways, but whatever. What's that? Uh, your bike's facing this way, and the weird fucking BMX bike facing that way. Park bike isn't meant for this. I think my bars move forward. Check that. Yeah, that looks so good. Now you can see the seat grab and the, the bar. That's good. Yeah, my uh, my bars move just a little bit. I think we're gonna try to move them back and uh, see if we can't boost another three over it. The three is kind of scary because I can't like spot my landing right away, so I have to like adjust the rotation. Like it has to be almost perfect off the lip. Now I think we're gonna try to jump the length of the bike. So I'm gonna set the ramp up behind it and jump over the front of it. Try to get a cool shot like that. I don't know, front to back, but pretty bad. Uh, this way? Yeah. 
All right, yeah, let's do it that way. on your back, you cleared it though. Yeah, I would. I mean, it's kind of close. What angle you want right here? Let me know what you think about that one. I thought I was a little sketchy, but. Alright, so that is a wrap. We, uh, it's a little harder to jump sideways, but like, it's just a little faster. The landing sucks a little bit more, but we got the bar. I'm not gonna do any other trick because I don't think any other trick is gonna look good from that angle. And like, it's a pretty good silhouette. I don't have any flashes, so it is what it is. I think we got some cool photos. If you wanna check them out, go follow me on Instagram. The Instagram is on the screen now. Uh, go follow Brad for getting those photos and uh, Andy for being here for some moral support. I'm gonna move the ramp away for Andy to, to jump off of it because he's been eyeing it up all day. And then I stole it from him when he was gonna do it and put the motorcycle in the way. So I'm gonna get those for you and uh, enjoy these little jibs that we got. All right, so that is the session. <laughs> um, we're gonna load up. It is obviously dark, as you can see. Um, hopefully this video is entertaining. Like I said, if you wanna check out the pictures, my Instagram will be on the screen. Their Instagrams will be on the screen as well, um, also in the description, so go check that out. Um, if you wanna see more stuff like this, because this is like the stuff that I actually enjoy doing. I did this all in one day, built it this morning, wrote it, got the pictures. If you want to see more of this stuff, click the like button because I would love to do more of this stuff. Um, comment if there's any other ideas you have. Yes, I will jump the BMW as soon as I get it back. Probably not with this ramp, but we'll see. This this ramp works well. Oh, also shout out to my mom for uh, literally saving the day by bringing the long ones that I forgot. Also, we have other ideas on, on like using this ramp to like, as a, you'll see, but we kind of want to find like a hill to jump into or like a step up to set it up. So we'll be using this ramp a little bit more might rein i don't know i don't really need to reinforce it it's pretty good so as long as it holds up for us doing that i think we'll just leave it as is all right last thing um so that i can keep doing this stuff for my whole life and maybe more go check out the .com. you saw it on the shirt you saw it on the bike at least go check out the website um we got a bunch of new stuff on there hoping to drop new stuff soon um it just depends on on how timing goes I'm hoping to drop some new shirts, some new t-shirts before the end of the summer. And then obviously I'll have some winter gear when the cold weather starts coming again. But go check that out because that's what it's all about. I'm trying to give to you if you could just support your boy and uh, get some Hager Co. gear. And uh, we'll keep doing more fun stuff like this and entertaining you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the exciting future content. And we will see you next time. <laughs>